Hey guys, and welcome to Gwent, the Witcher card game. My name is Jagoras, and today I have some top tier tomfoolery for us. This probably is not going to succeed, and that is the neutral deck. Now, you can use any leader that you like for a neutral deck, as it only contains neutral cards. However, I will say that I think Eridan is cheating because he spawns a monster's unit, and thus I feel like that's not really fair. So here is my iteration of the neutral deck, and honestly, I feel like this is going to be terrible. I went with Radovid because I actually feel like, you know, he's a decent amount of points in his leader ability. You can get, you know, 13 points out of him with the damage, uh, as well as the locks, which are quite useful. Unfortunately, there are no bronze units, so we've had to kind of make do with this, and hopefully everything will be okay. So, in terms of the strategy, we have our Witchers, and we can play them, and that'll make a little trio. So we have Eskel, Lambert, and Vesemir. And once we have a little trio, we can start buffing it with things like Thunderbolt Potion. So that's quite smart, you see? We're thinking about this. On top of that, we have a couple Swallow Potions, which will boost the unit by eight. And we have Adrenaline Rush, that, which will allow us to carry units over. Then we have some removal cards, stuff like Epidemic. We have some Elzer's Thunder, a couple Lacerate, some Marjorie. Just basically stuff to remove our opponent's cards. We have a Shackles, which can be used on gold cards. And then we have Blood Curdling Roll, which we can actually use on our cow, which will then uh, spawn us a Chort. So we can use this to spawn an 11 strength unit and get a Chort. So that gives us some more units, which we can potentially buff. Ogier lasts until the next round. So he's useful in that, you know, we really are going to need to find ways to keep points. So that seems like a sensible thing to do. Igni's good for removing problematic cards. Siri we have for card advantage. Yennefer is just generally strong. And Villain Trust in Math. I guess we'll win us the final round, although potentially he could burn our carryover if, if it comes to that. So so potentially maybe Regis would have been a better choice. I guess we could have also gone for weather nonsense, but as I said, we are playing a neutral deck, so we do need to run neutral cards. So without further ado, let's jump into a game and see this travesty in action. And if you like this deck idea, God help you, but you could maybe hit that thumbs up button. Me for me. <laughs> Checkmate. So, logically, the only way I see this deck conceding, conceding, succeeding, is if we go against a non-meta deck. Oh, we have Vesemir, Lambert, and Eskel. So we can actually mulligan Lambert and Eskel, which means we're in a pretty good position for, you know, not drawing them, which is quite nice. We have Lightning Potion, Epidemic, Double Adrenaline Rush. Do we want Double Adrenaline Rush? I don't know if we need Double Adrenaline Rush. Maybe we only need one. I'm going to mulligan one. I'm going to take that risk and see what we get. Shackles. That was not so good. Right. Is this Axeman or is it Discard? This is what I need to know. We have Yen, which is good for this round. Maybe we could try and go a Yen villain Tretanmer strategy this round. And then we can go for a Vesemir Thunderbolt potion strategy next round. I feel like that's probably quite a smart decision. We're lucky that we won the coin toss. Okay, so it's uh, it's uh, discard. So I have no idea how well this is going to work out. Probably badly. We just dry past. Wow. This is fantastic. Let's play this. Now we get the same amount of carryover as you, baby. So we could dry pass and then play a long round, but we don't really want to play a very long round against the... Uh, against Bran. Potentially what we can do is hold our Witcher and basically try and play this round quite long. The risk here is that I'm, I'm likely to draw a Witcher, which is not so good for me. But I was going to say we take the risk because I want to draw the cow. Um, so I don't think we want a villain Trenton Merth just yet. We could save that for the final round. How do I start this? I can Epidemic, but it's not really very worthwhile. We can Blood Curdling Raw the Olgiad, which would set us up quite nicely. I don't think we need this for now. I think we'll do that because we can get the chalk carryover from the cow. So... Let's do this into a bear. We'll put him on the middle row. I actually put a, maybe put him on the front row just so that I could uh, have a stacked row for weather. But then if you stack a row, then coral can be quite a pain. Ugh. God's Problem is we, d we don't have a way of gaining card advantage and he's going to play Ulderic, which means we won't necessarily get last play. But if we have Villain Trent and Mirth, we can maybe try and get that to work. It's boring just down in here. So he discarded a Dimmon. That's not very good. You want to play your Dimmons, really. I guess it's not terrible, but it's not really too great either. There's nothing I really want to lock at the moment. We do have Radovid, but we can kind of be a bit patient with this. 
Let's play our cow. I mean, what we could do is we could adrenaline rush the bear. But that'll probably encourage him to hit it. So let's just... What did he take from me? A lacerate. Let's just unlock that with cleaver, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm a dwarf of business. This cow... I need points. Stop trying to mess with my cow. We can also Alza's Thunder, but if we Alza's Thunder Donar, then he can just resurrect it with Sigurd Drifa. If he resurrects it with Sigurd Drifa, he can lock my cow again. And that's what, something I do not want to happen. At the moment, Epidemic hits our cow, which is not very good. But potentially we could use it to deal damage on the final round. Because we're going to need, what, three cards for Villain Threat and Mirth. So we've got Villain Threat and Mirth. That's it. Good. Ideally, we want to play Vesemir in that afterwards. Okay. So I suppose we can just play our Adrenaline Rush for now, but it does mean that he's likely to target me. But I want him to play more cards, and he can't just pass here, so that's quite good. Older Black Hand's taking on new swabbies. What do you see? What do you see? Tell me, what do you see? What do you think? I'm gonna Alzer's Thunder the Pirate. I don't want him to have the like be able to resurrect the lock, so if we kill the pirate, that's quite good. We can epidemic, but we're not gonna hit anything particularly good. Okay, we got Ulderic this turn. So maybe we just try and 2 -0 him? The problem is I can't play this because then it'll hit the uh, Ulderic and that's not very good. Epidemic is just gonna kill our thing, so that's not very good. Maybe we play Radovid for a tempo play. But then what do I lock? I lock all geared. And I guess Donna. There's not much that you need to lock against in this situation, to be honest. Boats, but he hasn't been playing boats. So, you know, if he, the fact that he hasn't been playing boats means I don't think he's running boats. And if he's not running boats, then, the, like, the lock is fine. Hey, we're actually ahead. Look at this. Oh, there is a boat. There's one in, in the discard pile. What do we do here? I guess we pass, but then he's got like a lot of cards for the final round. He's still got seven cards and we've got five. So this is kind of shit. It's kind of not so good. Which means we're probably just gonna lose. If we had a uh, Siri, then it would be better because we'd get card advantage, but they had Udalric, which kind of fucked us and the, the Resurrect got them ahead of us. If, we, if we'd been behind, it would've been better. This is the thing. There's our chort. I need to smoke. There's a Thunderbolt Potion. That's actually a pretty good draw. I kind of want to mulligan the Epidemic, but I'm going to pull a Witcher if I do it. What alternatively can I pull? Igni or Siri. See, there's, like, as long as I don't pull one of these, it's fine. Oh, we took the risk. We have to take the risk. This deck is terrible. If you're running a terrible deck, sometimes you just got to take a risk, you know? Foul before modern Freya. We're gonna resurrect a boat, probably. The problem is I can't play Villain Threatenmirth until he plays something big, you know? I'm ready. So that's the thing. Let's play this for now. Too old for this shit. Let's get our witchers out there. We're gonna have two 11s, so provided, like, an 11 isn't the biggest unit, we'll get good value out of Villain Threatenmirth. Into a... Fog? That's an interesting strategy. Mm, I guess it's worth technically more than the bear. Well, it's worth 11, and a bear was worth 11, so it's worth the same as a bear. Uh, we can't igni anything. Let's Thunderbolt Potion. Ideally, I would have liked to be able to like do this without hitting the seven, because, like I say, it puts me in an awkward spot for Villain Threat and Mirth. Um, but it is what it is, you know? We can actually um, wait till this guy gets real small, and then we could Marjorie Martin him. Freya. That's actually not a bad strategy. Taking on new swabbies. What do you say? I don't think I can really do anything here. If I play Villain Tretemeth, he just won't play any big units, and then I'll lose my 11. Unless we just, like, low value and Igni. Or we Marjorie him. How many cards has he discarded? I'm trying to work out how many points his pirate captains have. A few. I'm going to say a few. So we can... I guess mutagen this guy. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but you know, it's a play. We just need to see what he has and we need him to start playing his pirate captains or get to the point where he has to play them. We're totally going to get corralled. 
which is fine. I think it's fine. It's not really that fine. Like, it's a lot of value from the Coral, because we have to stack the row. If I somehow manage to beat a discard deck with this neutral deck, I'm actually gonna laugh. What are you gonna resurrect? Donna. Right, I think we just go for it now, right? We have to play this. And we'll see what happens. I think he must have big units, right? Like, it's three turns, which means he has to play three cards. And I think in three turns he'll have to play a unit that's bigger than uh, 11. That is the logic. The question is, are we going to get value out of Igni? Oh no, but I think we stand a chance. We've somehow managed to get into a final round and have a surprisingly okay number of points. What have you got? Mutagen spores, okay. This is interesting. So we can't Igni yet. Because, I, so I, I think I Thunderbolt, but I think I Thunderbolt like the five basically, so that it's like that. Because the way this currently stands, I can't make that unit any bigger. Because I think if I make it bigger, it'll be about the same size as his pirate captains. And I'm hoping he has two pirate captains in hand, because typically you don't discard them. There's one. So we could burn that one. But if we burn it, we risk... I think we have to burn it, right? But if we burn it, then we risk... Oh, this is terrible. Because ideally what I want to do is burn this, him play another one and have that get burned. But if I do that... Unless he only has three pirate captains. No, he can't have just three pirate captains, right? Maybe he does. Maybe his other cards are in here. We're going to take the risk and hope he has another pirate captain in hand. I guess I maybe should have just played that on nothing. That would have, it would have been smart as a play on nothing because if he had another pirate captain, he'd just have to play it, right? Whereas now I'm opening myself up to burn myself. That was a misplay, I think. I think I should have just kind of left it as is. Because now he can coral, but if he, actually if he corals, then he hits the 11s. So he can't really coral and he can't really... So he can't really Coral and he can't really Pirate Captain, right? Because I burn his eights if he Corals. Uh, I suppose. And the end. Because he does that, they're all protected now. Villain Trentima triggers and burns all the eights. Oh, and I'm up three points, it's not enough. It's not enough, you guys. <laughs> oh. But it was damn close, you gotta admit, it was damn close. And it shouldn't be that close, because I'm just playing, I was playing neutral cards. So I'm surprised that went the way it did. Anyway, I did say it wasn't gonna end that well. I'm gonna jump into another game and we'll see if we can kind of redeem things. Close ranks! Do not test my patience. Oh look, it's the 27 card deck. Well the good news is we're probably not gonna end up 20 points ahead at any time during this uh, matchup. Okay, AR, AR, Shackles. Shackles is actually not too bad because he's going to be running Baron. So potentially we can Villain Trent and Merth the Baron if we're smart with this. Lambert can go Marjoim, Vesemir, Cleaver, Roar, Shackles, Swallow. Are we done here? Mm, I don't want to risk. I mean, maybe, maybe we take Marjoim? I don't want to risk a, drawing a Witcher is the thing. Hmm. We have to go first. Okay. So let's play the cow. I'm so... This The problem I have at the moment is like no casual problem. is basically just ranked light because people are just playing competitive decks in this sort of situation, which isn't particularly fun. I guess we adrenaline rush our cow, right? Alternatively, we just swallow potion the cow. Now he's going to think I'm going to be doing some kind of crazy cow strat. That's smart. See? Sneaky. He thinks we're playing a cow strat. I just realized, I was like, I need to hold this for Baron. It's full test. Full test is not playing Baron. Oh, Jagoras, you're silly goose. But if I lock it, I carry it. But then I get carry over to the third round, which I guess is all right. Then I still have to play something else for the final round. Hmm. 
He hasn't played anything worth locking yet. This is the problem. And then I go two cards down, which is not so fun. Do we just stole and like shackles his units? Maybe shackles dandelion? I don't know. I don't know what the best plan of action is here. I just wanted to play like a neutral deck. We name not forgot me. Thaler, That's okay. Nice. So basically what he wants to do is us to get further ahead. Right? That's the strategy here, is we end up far ahead. The problem I have is I don't have anything good to play and I need to hold witchers for like a final round power play. So potentially we just pass, but if we just pass, he'll play two cards and win the round. And then we have to try and win two rounds. But, you know, that's just how this, this deck is going to work. This I never said it was a particularly successful deck. Oh, come on, really? Margarita? Ugh. I hate that that removes uh, Adrenaline Rush. Now I can't even, like, eat it. If I draw a second witcher, I was, I was going to say, if I draw a second witcher, I'm going to cry. Okay, let's mulligan Lambert. Marjorie. Okay, I guess that's the thing. I mean, if we play Villain Tretton Murph, maybe we can get this round to end. The problem is he's played Dandelion, and Dandelion kind of makes our life a bit awkward, in all honesty. Uh, because of... Dandelion makes our life a bit awkward because of... Um, it means that his rebranches will be different strength. And also we lost a round, so he can just play a few cards this round and try and drain out our cards a bit. And then play some stuff. Let's play this. Of that world. This resets a unit. This damages the unit. Maybe I can try and make them similar strength. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Let's just do this for now. And then we try and bork, I suppose. I really don't have a great target for blood curdling rule. Hmm. 43 versus 29. We have a lacerate in hand. He's probably just going to 2-0 me. If I were him, I would 2-0 me. I guess we also thunder the 7, right? May as well just have them all 6s. Oh man, if I had Epidemic right now, I would be so happy. Could you imagine the Epidemic and hit all the 6s? Sometimes life just gives you lemons, you guys. Sometimes life just gives you lemons. The worst part is I can't even say it's not the end of the world with this deck, because this deck is absolute well, pants. I just wanted to see if it was possible. Did he just rain on my parade? He did. We can lacerate for nine. But we can also wait till one of these gets small, or this guy gets small, and then we can... Uh... Turn him into a bear. We can also reset a unit, but there's nothing that good to reset. We could play Shackles just for the sake of it, but that doesn't seem very smart. I guess we have to play Cleaver, right? Not God flopping. What do we lock? There's nothing good to lock. I guess we lock this. It's probably like, why are you running Cleaver and not, you know, good cards? But maybe he's realized that everything I've played so far has been neutral. I don't know. But once he gets down to a 1, we can then turn him into an 11. Which is quite a smart thing to do. I think, anyway. I think we're probably going to lose. Ready for... Oh, man, see, he's got Epidemic. Probably Quinn. It's got to be Quinn, right? All right, I think we go for the last right here. Take those 9 points. There it is. I don't want to have to play Villain Tretton Mirth, is the thing. Um, but he might go for 2-0. Okay, so then we can just bear, and that'll win us the round, will it not? Because this turns a 4 into an 11. But then we take 2 damage from rain, so let me see. So I need to gain 7 points. Heh, <laughs> I don't think that's actually enough points. Marjoreem is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's not enough points. Wait, how many of them I have? Five, five behind, so I'll lose four, so I'll be nine behind. But then it will be a tie if I use this. So I have to play this. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Do not test my patience. This is not what I wanted to do. In the grand scheme of things, this is not how this was supposed to work out. Okay, and I have nothing to now hit with my uh, blood curdling roar, do I? Oh, hi Siri. So nice of you to join us. I mean, I need ant units after mulligan this. Yen. That's actually not bad. We got all of our gold cards now. I don't think it's going to be enough, but maybe she'll help us get value out of Bork. A moment. I need to smoke. Do we just lock this? Let's play Siri for now. Oh, I sense trouble. The thing is, he's gonna want to play his Reaver Hunters late, right? And if he's wanting to play his Reaver Hunters late, we can actually play Bork late and maybe try and stop him from playing units. Which isn't a terrible strategy, so let's do this. And then maybe he just pa passes before Bork does anything. Why is he not shackled? Is he not meant to be shackled by that? I'm not even gonna worry about it. Yeah, see? They're both gonna get hit. What can I Marjorie him? I can reset one, but that's not that useful. Why are they both... What even happened there? I don't understand what is going on. I guess we spore something. I don't think we can win. Realistically, I don't think we can win. Maybe I should have tried to spore one of these, but if they're at the same strength, I can hit them both. Although I would have gotten more points out of it, so I should have spawned one of them. I'm not going to win either way. Like, he can just pass here. But we're broke like, at this point, this person is just being a show-off and wasting everybody's time. Like, what do you feasibly think is going to happen? Yeah, so what is going on with these point values? Like, you just pass and then Bork doesn't trigger. Like, you're actually just being an asshole for the sake of being an asshole. Did he just throw? Oh, that's so BM. It's so BM. <laughs> well, I guess it's an interesting to note to end on. I'm not getting a GG. Look at this player. I'm not giving you a GG. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. I don't, I, I don't think they're giving me a GG. How, like, how rude can you get? How rude can you get? Anyway, guys, that's the neutral deck. I feel like it probably would be okay if everything that was in casual was not a meta deck. So maybe it's the kind of deck you want to run just after a patch before, you know, the meta's established. Arguably, you can make a neutral deck that will win you at least one round, but I feel like winning one round is not that difficult. So yeah, it's a thing. It it can be a thing. I have nothing positive to say about this deck, to be honest. If you like this deck guide, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what leader you would run in the comments below, and if you like the videos that I make, maybe subscribe. Beyond that, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.